Good morning. Okay, good morning. Here we are. Good morning. How are you? I'm trying to find you um, on Facebook. You find me on Facebook? I think yeah. it's on Ann Facebook. I couldn't figure out how to do it to Ann Rossley. Don't Rossi worry, I'm going to find it. Ann Rossley. Let's hope we're streaming. Group, we're trying to stream live. This is Good Morning Coffee. That's not up, huh? With Kyle oh. and Ann. Uh, we'll huh. deal with it next time. Okay, we'll get, we're gonna get it together. This is our inaugural morning coffee and welcome everybody. Um, actually, I'm gonna pull up Facebook on my phone to see if I can see if it's even going. But um, Kyle, you wanna get started while I pull that Hi. up? Yes, well, <laughs> we thought for our inaugural um, broadcast that we'd introduce ourselves. I'm going to introduce Anne. And um, Anne, God bless her, has been in this business for 30 plus years, is a real pro. She has both her managing broker and broker's license. So that tells you somebody who has uh, been constantly learning and is at the top of her game. She's um, lived in the city, uh, worked in the city. She and her husband, Tom, have raised three kids in Chicago. Um, in 2018, they right-sized from a historic four square in Lakewood, Balmoral, um, Andersonville neighborhood, and now they live see, in the loop. Um, she's now living in the loop at, at Metropolitan Tower across from Buckingham Fountain and Grant Park. She is regularly named a top producer um, by Chicago Association of Realtors, and she's a member of the Gold Coast Real Estate Masterminds Group. And she's my friend. As are you. <laughs> Kyle, I am so happy to be with you today. Uh, Kyle's in her fourth year of business. Uh, she started in Baird and Warner because of the great reputation and broker training. I would concur with that. Kyle was born and raised in Chicago, grew up in Lakeview and Old Town, moved to Hyde Park during law school, and has lived in Old Town, Lakeview, in the Gold Coast as an adult. And so for the past 20 years, Kyle's been a Gold Coast resident. For the last two years, she's been a member of the Baird & Warner Founders Club, which is a big deal for two years. Kyle, you've taken the real estate world by storm, doing multi-million dollar business every year. She's an accredited buyer's representative, leading relocation specialist, and is in the midst of getting her CRS for her Certified Residential Specialist Certification. She's always learning and is a single, a tennis player, on a number of civic and cultural boards, most notably the Metropolitan Family Services of Chicago. So here we are. Good morning, Kyle. As we envisioned this show, we decided we wanted to talk about what's going on uh, and thought Monday at 6.30 a.m. would be a great time to start the week. So why don't we kick it off by talking about the weekend? But you know what, first, it's June 1st today, it's our inaugural show, and I'm really pumped up and excited about it, but I think before we get started, we should take just a moment to take a breath. It's been a really crazy weekend, and so we want to acknowledge the world around us. Uh, very sad time for, you know, people who, with this the riots and stuff and that's going to subside and the world's going to go on and we're going to continue doing real estate but i just wanted to say that i'm feeling for everybody out there business owners people who are concerned about racial tensions people who are concerned about equality um anything in you want to add to that or i i absolutely concur um so I am, I am with the protesters on what they want for their vision of America, which is a fairer America for all of us, um, but especially for the people for whom it hasn't been a very fair America. Right. Um, and, and I think that there are some people who've taken terrible advantage of the protests to, um, to destroy, to make things so much worse and take the right. focus away from what the protesters are trying to do, which is bring a very well said, better, very well said, 
Yeah. But we are realtors. We are not uh, journalists, nor are we uh, political thinkers. So oh. we just wanted to make note of that in light of what's going on. And uh, well, let's talk real estate. What'd you do this weekend? Well, I um, actually, it was a busy, it was a relatively busy weekend. I, um, you know, we've come out of COVID, everybody. So when we say this is relatively I don't, busy, we'll kind of come out of COVID, right? Kind of come out. We're trying to come out. But when I say it's relatively busy, um, and then I tell you that I've done really two big things, and that, that sounds like a slow weekend, but considering that we've come out of COVID, it's not a bad weekend. Um, I had a listing appointment on Saturday in, uh, in the Old Town neighborhood, and it's going to be a, a, a great listing. I'm very much looking forward to it, and I'll tell you more about it once they sign. Um, and uh, I had a virtual open house for my listing at, in the Gold Coast, a really nice two-bedroom, two-bath um, condo at the Ambassador House, which is in the, um, on State Between Banks and Goethe. Um, and State Parkway, it's just a really pretty street with uh, tree. Uh, gosh, we were out there yesterday, Anna, and it was so beautiful. It was gorgeous. Golly, all, it's the, the spring rains, which we're going to have more today, um, have made for a beautiful, beautiful um, leaf cover and and um, flowers and everything is just beautiful. So that's what I did. How about you, Anne? What'd you do? Uh, well, I was busy as well. I had, um, I wrote a contract this weekend uh, for this cute young gal buying her first place. And I'm gonna show you this. I just, it's a North Center that she bought. And I'm gonna share the screen with you right now. You wanna tell to show you where North Center is? Yeah, well, North Center is like the 60618. Uh, okay, bear with me. I've got a funny screen, everybody. Here we go. La, 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 la. Picture there. No. Do you see me, Kyle, or do you see my funny screen? I see us. Okay, here we go. Um, so, yeah, North Center. It was actually almost at the corner of Belmont and Ashland, two bedroom. She, uh, the property is listed for 425 and it's a two bedroom. And so here are the numbers. I just want to share there these numbers go. with yeah. you. Okay, so $425,000 purchase price with a 20% down payment. She's looking at 26, 28 per month. So that thing is like even Steven or better on the rent from day one. She's two blocks from Target, two and a half blocks from Whole Foods, two blocks from the Brown Line Polina stop. It is a marvelous first time buyer opportunity. And if anybody's watching and thinking, shoot, that looks better than rent, um, don't be sad. There are a couple others in that stretch that are very similar, similar price point, similar size. But just let me tell you, for 26, 28 a month, she's got two full bedrooms, Beautiful open living dining kitchen, balcony, deeded garage parking, extra storage. It's a brick building. And you see the assessments are only 264 a month, and that's a professionally managed building. So how awesome is that? Um, I was and, just really, really and, excited uh, for her. Yeah. Um you don't know there are programs where you don't have to put 20 percent down exactly this right is, this is an example of 20 percent down but there are really oh, yeah. good options for doing less for even five percent absolutely yeah. but i just wanted to share that so excited for her getting Very that excited. condo so all right stop share coming back uh so you know i i had a listing appointment got another one in a couple hours but uh you know, overall, wouldn't you say business is picking up? Uh, business is picking up, but let's go to um, the hot sheets. And I'm going okay. to share my screen to, get, to give you a sense of what's going on right now. And we're just going to use the Gold Coast because, you know, I'm right That's here. for you. I'll share something different, but you can yeah, share the Gold something Coast. else. So we're going to do, um, so you're going to see now my, do you see my screen? I do. I just make got it a here. little bigger. Huh? Make it a little bigger. Can I'm making make it, it bigger. bigger. Yeah, make yeah, yeah. Bigger. Is that bigger? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Um, uh, and I've got a bunch of hot sheets, but I'm going to use the seven-day Gold Coast because on Monday mornings the hot sheet doesn't have a lot of information just from because people 
brokers haven't yet put in their information. And I was looking at it before we came on, but that's what a hot sheet looks like. When, you, when we talk about the hot sheet, that's what it looks like. And you're going to see that over the, you know, oddly, over the past week, there was no activity in the detached single. Tell everyone what a detached single means. Anne. Well, si single family home, what you would think of as no assessments, freestanding, that would be a detached. Yeah. Um, so no, none went under contract. But in fairness, you don't have that many single families there. Well, in terms some. of numbers, you've got some. Yeah, the higher but price. Right. Of the but the point that you're just about to make, and I interrupted you, is they tend to be really expensive. And you're right. going to see from the rest of this, it's the lower end properties that are moving. So, right. Okay. So then we're looking at um, attached singles. And I see here that 16 condos, co so attached singles means um, community living. So uh, condos, condos co-ops, co townhouses, townhouses attached. Yeah. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. So there were 16 last week that went under contract, but notice the prices. The median price is 460. The highest price condo is 899 that went under contract. And this is a, this is a neighborhood with um, $13 million condos. There's, but that one's not gonna sell for 13 million. But anyway, <laughs> condos in this, in this and single family homes that range in price from, what would you say? Well, there's one that's on just come on the market or about to come on the market for thirteen point five million dollars. Yeah, yeah. And there, so it's it's a it's a very expensive neighborhood. But this shows us that it's the less expensive um, properties that are moving. Okay. Right. So I thought that was interesting. Um, there are that also tells me just based on how much movement there is. And do you see my cursor circling these lower price ones? Right. It tells me millennials are buying. Downsizers and millennials are buying in the Gold Coast and they're buying the lower price properties. So that's actually pretty interesting. Um, and normally I would see, and I do see some, Sandberg, a lot of movement at Sandberg. I've been watching it all spring and all during the COVID era. Mm -hmm. we're, in, we're in DC during COVID. Um, Sandberg has moved really well, Sandberg Village places. Okay. Now attached, look at all this for new attached. There are 30. These are all new listings. They're new, but what's the caveat for the new designation? A lot of these are formerly listed properties that have been canceled. The listing was, the old listing was canceled and they were relisted the next day, same day as new. This has and, become something that I'm really just not fond of in the real estate market, but um, and I think COVID has helped us to change this, don't you think, Kyle, about market time? But some of these agents would have a property on the market 60 days, and then instead of marketing it to their peers and marketing it in imaginative ways, what they would do is they'd pull it off, cancel the listing, and relist it as if it were new. And that's monkeyed with our numbers. It's made it an artificial uh, statistical environment, and I don't think it really helps anybody. Now, I think people are paying less and less attention to market time given COVID because once things shut down in March, the MLS even developed a new system for recording market time <laughs> because of this. But um, I'm hoping that goes away. Do you feel the same or do you feel differently? I, I do feel the same. However, I do this for my, my clients. I cancel and relist. Well, you have to if everybody because else is. You have to. You have to. everyone's right. doing it. Right, right. I'm uh, not going to ignore it and, and put my clients at, yeah. you know, at, at risk of not being noticed, but I'm just saying, I wish the I know, MLS I'm, would I'm come with up with entirely. a plan. But also, so notice also, going back to the news, look at the variety of price range, 180,000 to 3.5 million. Yeah. That the uh, that's your neighborhood. That's what you know. Yeah, the 33 East Cedar is a perfectly good, well located con uh, condo building with parking, and that one's a one bedroom for one uh, one hundred eighty thousand dollars. And then um, 
one in the Water Tower Place, the, the building at Water Tower Place, the condo building, and that's 3.5. And that's a three bedroom, I love this, three bedroom, five and a half baths. <laughs> that's luxury living. You that's have more than one bath. <laughs> I mean, they're probably are sort of like, what are all these bathrooms? <laughs> I love but it. In the COVID era, you can't have enough bathrooms. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right. Anything else on your hot sheet before I flip over to mine? Um, I'm just going to go down to the number of closed because okay. that and, and pendings. Seven properties closed. Um, and normally, this, normally for a week, this would be a much higher number. I didn't think to to um, follow by the week or keep stats by the week um, in, when, in normal operations because you, you usually look at a month. Um, right. But looking at this, this is, this is low because of COVID. But, and there are two in the pipeline to close. Pending means that they're in the pipeline, all the contingencies are done, and it's, and it's just waiting for the closing table. Back to you. Right. Okay. Unshare, stop share. There we go. Okay. Back to you. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about a different area. I'm gonna talk about what I call the Kubel Odd District. <laughs> and the Kubel Odd District is 60618 around three schools that are public elementary that people are just racing to get into. So as part of this North Center Roscoe Village area here and this is what the hot sheet looks like. I wanted to see how this looked in context. So I'm just doing single family homes here, okay? Mm -hmm. And currently, and I brought up my InfoSpark stats. This is live, so you can see month by month. And uh, these wow. are single family homes in different price ranges. But I wanted to show you that uh, there are 34 currently on the market now. And we often talk in terms of month supply. Month supply means uh, rate of sale, so to speak. How many are selling per month based on how much inventory is on the market? So it, a lender's gonna say it's neither a buyer nor seller market if we're, sorry for that, if we're in the five to six month range, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, right in this five to six month range would be static. So it is still a seller's market in single family homes in this area, which is kind of a surprise given the fact that um, a lot of the marketplace is less than that. So let me go live to show you. Whoops. Da, 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 da. Share, share, view in new window. Here we go. All right. So here it is broken down by price. So the 800 to a million two, where's my number? Oh, oh, okay. Now I get it. Sorry, everybody. This is what I wanted to show you. Okay. So this line up here. This is my primary market area and, do you, and, and the higher price, like a million eight and over. And it's 15 months of inventory. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So, so my, I call my primary market area like Edgewater down to South Loop, West, mm -hmm. including Wicker Park, Bucktown, Logan. Okay. So in that area, single family homes of a million eight or more, we have 15 months worth of inventory. Not so the case when you get in these good school districts. In that case, see, whoops, we're yeah. down to 3.6 months. So what does that say? What's my takeaway? If you're going to buy a single family home, even if you're single, even if you have no kids, the play is to buy it in one of these school districts. Because well, you're- I'm gonna push back. So for example, I have a buyer who said to me something along the lines of, um, I don't want to compete with other buyers. I don't like having to be in a multiple offer situation. Maybe I go to some of these areas where it's more of a buyer's market and I'm not going to be so, com so competitive. I want to live in this house for 
you know, our yeah, 15 well. years. Um, I'm going to, I want to go to one that has 15 months of inventory and then be able to negotiate a good price. But the reason there's only 3.8 is it's a great place to live. You know, the, the, the lower right. months. That's why it's a great place to live. You can send your kids to the public school and, um, and a lot of people, there's just not a, enough inventory for the demand on the market. So, right. You know, and of course we're in that time right now, COVID or not COVID where people are making their move. They got their letters last month. They know what school they're going to. So the parents who are putting their kids in kindergarten need to move in the next three months. Um, I just thought I would share this little tidbit too. This is median price per square foot for that same area. And we are now, is this, um, this is, yes, Kuhn Bellad. Yes. Okay. In the Kuhn Bellad area, uh, the average price is 309 per square foot. So what that means is if you're in a 4,000 square foot home, you're looking at a million two price point. Yeah. Uh, and then market time, you know, market time in this area, is, it varies. If you're a million eight or over or whatever, you're at 1-818 days. But boy, oh boy, if you've got a home under a million, 25 days market time, top to bottom. That's pretty, pretty that amazing. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's, my, that's my take on the area of the day and what's shaken on the hot sheet. So very interesting, very interesting. So what's, what are you foreseeing for the week ahead for you? Uh, well, do you want to talk about my properties of the week? Yeah. Before we get to that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going back. To, okay. We decided everybody that Kyle and I would take turns uh, bringing a property to show you that piqued our interest, whether it was a fabulous buy or over the top or right, whatever. So um, this week was my turn. And for those of you who know me, oh, where's my, oh, here's my screen share. For those of you who know me, uh, if I go to a restaurant, I always order the combo platter because I can never make up my mind. And that was again the case today where I couldn't make up my mind what to share with you. One of my favorite things to check out, and I guess it's because I have so many clients that are looking for this, is what's a good buy for around a million dollars for a condo, right? So, and we see these from time to time on social media or Dennis Rodkin puts it out on cranes, you know, what do you buy for a million dollars? And so I was looking at a million dollars and thought, what is everybody interested in? And there were three properties that really caught my eye. This is my spreadsheet here. And oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing your, um, the Emred, um, Odd, Kuad, Kubel Odd. Oh, you are? Okay, well, let me switch you over. There we go. Here are the three I want to show you. Oh, I know why, because I shared Chrome. I didn't share my screen. That's what happened. Okay, thank you. That was a training moment. So there are three properties that caught my eye, and I, I want to take you through them one by one. The first one is listed by our fellow masterminder, Brenda, and this is at the Ritz-Carlton Residences, oh. which is such a fun building. Uh, it is located at Erie and Michigan Avenue, and like the Ritz-Carlton, offers the finest of services. They have a concierge, a butler, uh, really fun building. This they, unit they have a wine bar, they have a cigar room, they got everything. Yes. It's this fantastic. Is, yeah, it's a fabulous, fabulous building. Yeah. So this particular unit is a two bedroom, about 15, 1600 square feet. And it was purchased by the current owner with the intention of making it an in town. And he spent probably about $100,000 taking it from the developer unit and making it into this sensational, uh, lovely property, brought in a designer. And you can see this beautiful built in here no, no, no. I can't see the, I can't see the picture. Oh, okay. So you thank you. Off. Well, you know what I'm going to do? That's probably not, I'm going to have to do a flat out screen share with my desktop. Here we go. Now, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So the, yeah, yeah. This is why it's good to work in pairs, everybody, because I've got yeah. Kyle to save me. Okay. Look so, at that. Wow. That, 
I've been in this that. unit. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Well, and look at that view down Michigan Avenue. Isn't that stunning? So here's the deal, everybody. This unit was purchased for about a million dollars. He put in about a hundred thousand. It's on the market for eight ninety nine now. It's a steal. I've been it in is, it. It's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. So I just wanted to share that. Look at that kitchen. I mean, yeah, I know. In unit washer and dryer, balcony, just so pretty. And she did a great job. Now look at the moldings on that in the archway. Oh, love, love, love. I do too. I just think that's great. Okay, so the next property I wanted to share mm -hmm. is 1366 Dearborn, right in your backyard. I love this one too. Isn't this good? Now, I am, I've always been a fan of vintage and I've always been a fan of this building. Oh. This has what I think is one of the prettier lobbies. Isn't that? Aside from the co-ops, you know, along Lakeshore with their gorgeous lobbies. But I think this is just stunning. You know, my, my parents, this is the first place they lived with after they got married. Is that right? I, I, I think the ground floor apartment. Oh, anyway. no kidding. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Sorry, sorry. So you can see the radiators over here. Um, let me make my mouse work. The radiators over here are covered and oh. the beautiful big windows and the gorgeous floors. I mean, those are real vintage, those are beautiful floors. It yeah. doesn't show how great it is to walk on the old style hardwood floors. They are beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Formal dining room. I love a vintage formal dining too. I think I that's too. terrific. You don't have to have it even be a dining room. Nowadays, people no. make those um, all different kinds of rooms. They're a very flexible space. Yeah, and you know what? I think it's sensational when you do kind of a library den that works as a dining room, you know, oh, love and it. look at this little office space here. Okay. Then I wanted to show you one more because two's just not enough. No, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right. So here's the next one. This is a <gasps> oh, famous yeah. celebrity here in Chicago. And this is, I'm not going to say a word. You just have to see it. This is it. it. So it's a modern it's, building. It's modern. It's a modern building. And the deal was that this guy got the penthouse. Okay. So it listed for a million fifty. Look at it. it. Oh. This is what you call decorated. Look at that. The Deco panels decorated. and the banquet. Yes. Fantastic. Isn't that fun? Oh, look at that. Oh. I mean, it's, it's like it's one of those perfect jewel box um, vintage buildings in a modern building. Yeah, right. a lot of this goes away. You don't have it. It's kind of... <laughs> Isn't but, this? Yeah. yeah, right. Right, but you know what? But look at the bones of it. I, look at the bones. But you know, well, that's right. Yeah. The oil cloth, you know, table covering aside, Right. I, I gotta tell you though, I just love good collections. And <laughs> I just think it's so but and look at the stove over here. This is I yes. guess is it an Elmore, one of those, you know, I don't know made what it is, vintage. but it's modern, made to look yeah. old. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. It looks like an old country kitchen, but it's brand new. Right. Right. Not and brand new. Look at this. Look, look at it. this. Totally look at styled out. <laughs> and look at penthouse outdoor space, huh? That's his, that's his terrace, a thousand square foot terrace. Yeah. Wow. Right in Old Town and the view. Isn't that phenomenal? Love, love, love. Love, love, love. So those are my three properties of the week. Condos around a million dollars. And I will do, I'll probably, next week, let me, I'm going to do the entry, three Oops. great entry levels for people. Three great entry levels. What do you mean by that? Three great entry level condos for the millennial buyer. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm thinking floor level. Like, what yes. is she talking about? What am I not in there? <laughs> All right. I think that's a great one. Yeah. For somebody buying their first condo, first condo what would you recommend? In various that. different neighborhoods. Just okay. Through. Okay. That sounds What's good. It? So not so bad for our first attempt at this. I got to work out the screen sharing kinks. I apologize. Thanks everybody for hanging with me. But uh, this was fun and I'm ready to start my week now. Kyle, how about you? I am ready to start the week caffeinated.
what's your uh what's you frozen my caffeine of choice is um latureg green tea from tea geschwender I, i've mispronounced that and whoa it, it's delicious I use Am a, I unfrozen? Uh, huh? No, Am you're unfrozen now. You, you're unfrozen now, but you were frozen just for a moment. Okay. I use a straw because I'm trying not to make my teeth as brown as they want to be from the teeth. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Anything else before we sign off? No. See you next week, 6.30 a.m. on Monday. Thanks, everybody. Take Bye. care. Bye.